Well, that's a storm chaser web by. I haven't, I haven't seen that guy. I haven't talked to that guy. He's uh, he's chasing that tornado out there. Anyways, we just got smoked by an EF4 tornado across here. There is. F oh my god. Holy Toledo. Well, I see why that would have tipped over. Probably could have used a bigger truck there. Sheesh, always. Anyways, this series is the mow it, mowing series, but we've done all sorts of jobs, and it looks like we're going to have a couple different jobs on our hand of cleanup here. There's a couple of houses that got destroyed. Mobile homes flipped over. Tractor, semi-trailer flipped over. Trucks flipped over. Janet, you're not going to be able to tip the mobile home, Janet. Janet, calm down. People are just going delusional out here. Anyways, we got to get this cleaned up. Um, yeah, we got to get in here. She, she's still trying to go at the mobile home. Our local neighbors, we are going to do this free of charge. We're going to try and get this cleaned up as best as possible. If we have to work three days for 72 hours straight, we will do that. And we'll get this cleaned up. This is Mullet, mullet Landscaping. If you got a problem, we'll fix it. There's Buck right on time. Hey! What? You see that tornado? I was down in the... Uh, I take that back. I saw it starting to form, then decided to take the lawn chair out of the yard and go downstairs. Because fun was over at that point. Huh. <laughs> you guys didn't even get any wind. No, we got wind all right. I said I was sitting outside until the sirens went off, and I looked at about a quarter mile to my right, the funnel was starting to form. Yeah. And I was like, uh-uh, okay, fun's over. Midwest is fine, but we're going down. We're going downstairs. The shop didn't get hit at all, besides for, with hail. You go that's, ha, a eighth of a mile south of here, and houses are wrecked. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah. Power lines are down. I think they're saying they got a couple yeah. trucks out right now. Let's, Whoa, uh, hello. Let's, let's get let's get the skid steers or anything we got, and let's try and get this cleaned up here. There's a crazy delusional lady down the road. She's trying to push over the mobile home. Yeah, like that again. push it back over. Yeah. Janet. I tell I, I tell that lady she needs to just just stop. Yeah. Just, just stop. Let's get going though. I don't think anybody's hurt, which is good. Well, unless Janet decides to throw her back out. We'll get the other Bobcat, the T76, out. And then if I could, maybe we'll look into renting a, a chipper of some sort to try and get this cleaned up. We had a tree go down in the front here too. But if we get a chip around, that'd be good. Well, we got a couple people that have been helping out and stuff. We got the deer out. We have a, we actually had a mulcher behind that, which worked really well. And then also, um, local gravel hauling company brought their Demco out to help us out. They were trying to clean up their own stuff, but they're like, hey, we'll leave this truck here. So we got a Demco side dump. I'm not sure if we'll mulch stuff up and toss in there, if we'll toss extra debris. Not sure. We're going to get these cleared up. Buck, what are you thinking with those? You just want to toss them... Heck, we'll just toss them in our backyard for now. Just get the street cleared. For these, I'd say it'd probably be more useful to stick them in the back of the 7R. Okay. Just kind of chip them up, because the sticks won't be that big for this. Yeah, yeah, But those bigger trees, it'd be better to cut them up and do whatever with them. Just okay. kind of store them for right now. Drop them there, and then we'll I'll grab some more. We'll get them cleaned up here. You think it's going to chop them, though? Oh, yeah. Okay. Got a couple of semis to push over. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Not semis. Motorhomes. Technically, if we're careful enough, which is not going to be anything grand, but I think if we're careful enough, we could take the fork prongs on the top half of our grapple bucket. Yeah. And just kind of like pull it down from the side if we got enough reach. Well. No, we do not. What if we go the other way? One of us might have to lift from the back side, and the other might have to like pull the wheel down. Gotcha. I don't really know how we're going to do that. Yeah. Is that mulcher? That's going to be a mulchy skid. Should be able to. Just kind of like drop it. Somewhat drop it down. I might, uh, let me get this tree branch here and I'll see if I can fire it up and get it going. Okay. I'll just make a pile behind it. What about this big tree? Can it mulch it or no? Well, we could try, but I don't know if it's going to do us any good. We might want to try and cut that one up. Let's see if I can grab this one. Well, I can kind of lift it. I don't know. I'm just doing something real sketchy over here. I actually got it lifted. We'll put this one behind the chipper. Hopefully it can mulch it up. We'll see. Um, Possibly. There's a couple sticks around here if you want to start grabbing them. 
I'm cutting them off for just trim wise. Don't don't try and pick up the whole tree. I'm gonna take I'm gonna chop this one up. Yeah, we're gonna get the semi cleaned up too. Should we try flipping the mobile home? I mean, we can, but let me get at least this tree with all of its sticks off. Okay. That way it's not being a hazard because this one's on the road. Yeah. You want to load me up there? Or can I grab it off the fence, you think? Um, let me cut it in. And, I can uh, grab it. Try to say grab. I mean, if you can get the whole thing, be my guest to try and pick it up. Come Got on. It? It's just the tilt on these bobcats isn't the best. So if anything, ah. just get it out of there and then readjust the grip. So it looks like it's sliding out. Okay, this one's probably, this one might be usable, so we're gonna put this in the big, uh, the big dump trailer. Wish I could get this skid steer to tilt back more. And, right there. Should be good. That should be good. Yeah. Just kind of try and maybe Get this little chunk out. Oh boy! Watch out! Okay. It's falling off the roof. Maybe you want to grab her with the skid steer. Uh, if you want to bring it over, maybe not. Okay, leave it right there. I should be able to grab it there. Oh, she is a heavy one. We don't get me hit by that thing. And I wish this tilt skid steer could tilt back. Cause it's about to fall out. You having fun yet? Oh, she's shaky. Clean up crew on aisle one. Uh. Some of these are good logs. These could be used. Not just for firewood, but maybe for some lumber and stuff if we don't drop it. And okay, here we go. Oh, no tip. Oh no! There My joke's we... gone! There we go. Perfect. Oh, that's stuck on a log. Nice. Okay, well, most of our trees are cleared because we gotta do some mulching. What do you say we try flipping this this uh, camper over? Gotta make sure nobody's on the other side of this, dude. What if somebody's still sleeping, Buck? If they're still sleeping, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> Took some NyQuil and knocked them out. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I believe so. Give her! Give her! Yeah! Oh! Back her up! Hold on. Was this son of a gun pulling this camper with his little tiny truck? If he was, he's stupid. He deserves to get flipped over then. Keys are in it. I'll hook her up. We'll put her in our lot and just get her out of the way. Might have to get my truck out. I don't know if that thing's heavy enough to tow that sucker. Stop! Good. Oh. Are you sure that's even gonna remotely work? How did this guy get going? Uh, well, the truck's probably busted by now. Oh, boy. Something isn't right. Oh, stop, 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 stop. We're burning her. Just give me a push from behind. This isn't gonna work. Okay, well, we'll get this off the side of the road here. Uh, we got the mobile home moved out of the way. I think Buck's grabbing his truck. And then we could try flipping the semi. I don't know how we're going to get that mobile home. That pretty much destroyed the fence, too. Oh, there he goes. So Buck's got his dually. He hooked up to her. He's moving her out. Well, I think the last, ta or last task for us is probably to get that semi flipped. And somebody's got some really good straps on there. Because that uh, JCB's still on there. Uh, may or may not have just T-boned your Dodge. What well, might be smart, well, not really smart, but if those straps are hold, can hold enough, you could lift by the back of the tractor, and I'll lift back here on the top side of the back side of the cab, because the thing's totaled anyway. Yeah. Okay. So that's about the only logical way I see this happening. Yeah. Let's give her a shot, then. I'm underneath the cab. Yep, I'm underneath the tractor. Here we go. Yeah, keep going. Oh, it hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. That actually about didn't work. 
Does she start? I don't know. That truck's been sitting sideways for a while. If anything, one side's going to be really lean and one side's going to be really rich. <laughs> She'll roll some coal at the start. Give her a shot. Oh. Hang on. Grab the jumper box. Should be one in the back half of my truck. Yep, I'll grab one. Starter's clicking. Our battery terminal. Give her another shot. Give her some juice, too. Trying to. Oh, oh. Ah, hang on. You're close. Give her some rev. I think we got it. Yeah, she runs. A little damaged. Scratched up pretty good, but I think it'll it'll work. Anyways, we got the road cleaned up. We have one mobile home to get yet. We got to figure out a plan for that to kind of flip that over without destroying that fence anymore. But Aww. this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Seriously, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tornado cleanup. And hey, we'll see you next one. Thanks for watching, guys.